Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about wind. Wind is an element that's always going to be in your life as a sailor. If you're boating, you need to con uh, be concerned about wind. Wind creates seas, anything over 13 knots, white caps will start, and that can have an impact on your family outing, if you will. Uh, you may be out and the winds start increasing, and you know what's going to happen. You know, it's, 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 it's going to be a little, little bit more unpleasant. So, wind direction and wind speed, you're always going to want to know what's going on. Let's talk about boat design for a minute here. I'm going to paint with a broad brush. Most boats have something back here. An outboard, you have a screw with a rudder. But my point here is, is that you've got something going on back here. On the bow, not so much. So, this side of the boat is called sail area. And if you think about it, it's like a big sail. The wind hits this, it's going to affect the bow more than it is the stern because you've got all this stuff going on back here. And even some, some of these bows are even cut off more. You know, they're, they're, they're a shallower bow. And that's going to be affected by the wind more. So let's throw a training aid up here. When the wind, if you go bow wind, which I highly recommend is, is the, the, your number one approach. If you look at this, you got wind coming in, it goes down. Boom. Boom. That looks like a broadhead on an arrow. It's, it's wind efficient. It's also efficient at cutting through the water. That's the design of the boat. All right? But when you turn a little bit, you're not going to have anything going down here, but this wind is going to hit, boom, and it's pushing. Again, we said you have gear going here. It's going to have a bigger effect up here on your bow. Now, that can be a good thing. That can, that can help you or it can hurt you. It's your choice. All right. The last one is getting hit from the stern. The wind's going to hit. Boom. Boom. Almost, almost as good as this. If you have your choice, number one and number two. You really want to keep an eye on that sail area. Okay. Let's clean this up. I want to tell you a little sea story about a friend of mine who's tying up. He's tying up his single screw boat, it's a fishing boat, and he has to put this boat in this slip and the wind is coming from this direction well my buddy was always in a habit of coming in and he'd always make the same loop and he came over and he's he's got to get in here the problem is it's a single screwed boat and the way a single screw works is most of the time they're a right-handed screw so when they when they cut the water, they cut to the right. When you back down, it cuts to the left now. You, the screw is rotating the opposite direction. So a single screw boat usually will back to port. So he needs, he needs to get in here. He needs to... But this boat is backing to port. So he's coming here. Plus he's got the wind blowing him down on the dock. And he smashes into this pile. I thought he was going to break the pile. And he hits the dock. He's got everybody else shaking up on the dock. And he does it four times. Finally, I came out and I said, Matty, go the other way. Come at this from this direction. So he does. 
Now is the boat's going to back to port. That's helping him. The wind is pushing the bow. That's going to help him. He he looked like a boss. He had that in the very first time because he made friends with the wind. He didn't let the wind kick his butt. The other direction, it was eating his lunch. Okay, so know where the wind's coming from and have it help you get, get what you're doing done. I had another buddy, another Coast Guard story. This is a dock. This is called a camel. A camel is a, a big log usually for ships that um, the, the ship will lay right alongside of it and it'll ride up and down. It's usually on a cable and it keeps you from ending up on the dock or having one of the pylons punch through the, the hull of the ship. Well, this happened 25 years ago. So this is, this is uh, definitely burned an impression in my mind. My buddy, Jack McLaughlin, he's still, uh, he, he's a civilian employee for the Coast Guard. He's a retired Coastie. He was uh, mooring up, docking a 133-foot buoy tender. He made this approach, and he came in. Can you see this? I'm going to get on the camera here. And uh, he made a beautiful approach. But what he did was he went past it, and he just laid the transom or the, the quarter of the boat on the, on the camel. Closed, closed his controls up, said uh, put them all over. All the lines went over. There was no screaming, no yelling, no nothing. He knew the wind was blowing him on the dock. He knew that by touching this, this ship was just going to lay right on that camel. Everything would, would be nice, nice, and uh, Man, he looked like a boss to the point where I remember it 25 years later. Hats off to you, Jack. Okay, so use use these to your advantage. Now, if so if you're out here and you've got some current, you, you, you've gotten off the dock, you're going to hit this thing pretty hard, and it's gonna, it, you could knock people down. So you want to find that delicate balance. You know, lay it in here. All right. Next, next thing about wind I want to go over. I see people cruising in the uh, harbor all the time. And uh, you got boats that are in their moorings. I mean, in their slips. And here, here comes the boater, and he's, he's got a strong wind coming across the harbor and they they're acting like they're driving a car but you're not there's no wheels attached wind will affect your boat they come down too close to these and then they realize oh crap I'm getting blown into these boats so what's the natural tendency they want to get over here but what happens on a boat the boat well, if you turn to the left, the, the um, stern is going to go to the right. You smash into these boats. What he should do is, if he feels like he's too close, stop and back out, get in good water, and do this. Or pay attention to what the wind's doing to you and not get in that situation in the first place. You don't have any wheels on these boats. Wind definitely affects them all the time. All right, let's talk about this. We want to go to some destination. We're going to have, we're taking our family, and uh, we're starting here. Okay. And, and this is called a track line. It's the way that you're going to get from where you're leaving to where you're going. But we've got wind that's blowing like this. If you follow down this track line like it was a road, you're going to get blown off your course. The wind is hitting this sail area. 
It's hitting the side of your boat and it's having an effect on you even though you don't know it. So if you, if you follow down, it's just going to keep blowing you off of your course. The further you go, the further off course you're going to get blown. So what we end up doing is what we call crabbing. You correct your course and you're actually, your course made good. Your bow is pointing here, but your course made good is going right down this track line. And we'll get into a lot more detail on that when we talk about chart plotters and so on. But I want to kind of let you know that, that wind, if you're going to be a boater, wind is in your life. You're going to have to deal with wind. You can either make it your friend or you can fight it. I, I will tell you, <laughs> you're going to lose. So, so give it the respect it's due and, uh, and act accordingly. I have a... A, uh, app on my phone called Windy and uh, I think it's one of the best ones that I've ever seen I'm sure there's a bunch of other ones out there my old partner on the uh, on the sheriff's boat he's an airplane pilot and he uses it for flying so I mean whatever application obviously I think uh, the wind has a little bit to do with airplanes too but um, wind ma ma make a friend of it uh, we're, we're stacking this stuff on top of each other. We're talking about, you know, all the videos. If you're watching this in sequence, we're stacking this stuff up. I think you're going to have a really, really good uh, next summer if you put some of these things into practice. It's, gonna, it's really going to make, uh, make boating a lot more fun for you. All right, the next video is going to be on current. Another element that's going to uh, affect you and you need to keep an eye out. Uh, sometimes current is is uh, has more of an effect on you than wind. You have to figure that out. Uh, but tune in for the next video. I appreciate you stopping by here and watching this. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.